Yeah, forty years old male. He has come from Saudi Arabia. With the only history that he's giving is uh, uh, sorry, this area. For the last three, four months, he has been repeated there was announced the calculus somewhere in the urinary tract and uh, this in view is yeah. otherwise I don't have any other even I don't have the lab profile and or the any um, investigative procedures with me this is the verbal history of the patient that I'm providing you now this is this is uh, in fact the left kidney in cervical section in, in front of you measuring um, 0.2 centimeter and then, then 4.7 centimeter in uh, anterior posterior diameter with parenchymal thickness of 15.3. Normal, everything is normal, nothing to worry about it as regards left kidney. The cortex is okay and uh, the pyramids are seen intact cortical metabolic differentiation and uh, when color box applied, oh sorry, sorry. I see that it is uh, being perfused. The parenchyma is being perfused well by the uh, vessels, sarope, the blood vessels. With the now I'm going. This is the waveform of the way of signature that of the uh, interlobar uh, artery and uh, what we see if you let, let me get a relative prepare for you with so G Saru Glow X second. This is better. We get sharp, swiftly and sustained uh diastole that we see with the resistive index of 0.52, pulsatile index of 0.82. So it's okay so far as uh, the left kidney is concerned. For the other person, excuse me for the noise. This is the liver, this is the right kidney and this is the lower pole of the right kidney. This area is the lower pole of the right kidney, parenchymal, echogenicity is normal. These are the pyramids. They are normal inter intact cortical metabolic differentiation. Now the upper pole, lower pole and part of the uh, mid region shows normalcy. No calculus is seen, no focal layer is seen in this region. And the normal kidney is seen by 5.4 into in length and 4.6 centimeter in period posterior diameter. This is central sinus complex. However, the issue is that this is the actual pathology which he is suffering from. This is a solid heterogeneous mass this area. with no posterior wall enhancement measuring approximately 8.2 centimeter by 7.8 or 7.9 centimeter and uh, it relates to the part of the mid region of the uh, right kidney and then uh, the upper pole of the right kidney. It involves these two areas. 
it elevates the capsule of the uh, kidney and uh, it's well demarcated. There you can see the wall. And this is the river pole of the left kidney, which is a part of the preserved part of the mid region. This is the these are the upper pole, sorry, lower pole calluses. And uh, this is a solid mass relating to the uh, mid and upper pole of the right kidney. Now see the appearance of this. Uh, it has internal ecogenicity. And this is the calcification, tiny calcification. Not only that, now it shows you complex picture, cystic and solid. See, now you see these are the cystic areas. In fact, it is a solid mass, but with internal, uh, spread, uh, the internal cystic areas spread within it. So complex mass relating to the kidney, moving with the kidney. Lumbar salo. Now here you can see Jerusalem. Let's see the internal configuration. We have seen the internal appearance. Let's see if uh, it shows any vascular variety within it. Yes, it's more of venous nature than uh, Now these uh, blue tiny areas are uh, venous and the red one are arterial. Sanirana, Sanirana. Ithi Rokro. Rokko, Rokko, Tvadi Bari Nairvani Rokko. Now this is the Sanirana. This is the arterial wave signature from within the mass, vessel from within the mass. See, this is the uh, mass and uh, showing you uh, both blue and red colored. If you see this bar, then it has both arterial and uh, uh, venous supply and it's the RI, resistive index of the Arterial is uh, vessels within it is 0 0.46. Okay, moving on with this very further. This is the higher region. See, this is Thalilo, and uh, here we see the uh, renal uh, vein, and this is the hyalur region. I have cut off the uh, mass, and uh, this is the transfer section of the right kidney. And almost minus 4.9. Um, if let's see if I can possibly give you a picture of the hyalur.
can see that the IVC is patent because the thrombus usually travels through IVC uh, through renal artery or I'm uh, sorry, renal vein into this uh, sort of a situation, but we can see a normal uh, IVC. Now this is the right renal vein. This is the right renal vein entering the IVC. Okay, now this is the renal artery. So there. This is the signature of the renal right renal artery with uh, again the resistiveness of 0.59 and pulsatile index of 1.0. Uh, two. So the high region vessels are patent. IVC is patent. No evidence of any clot seen, uh, and the perfusion of the uh, kidney that is preserved is normal. Here you can see. This is the waveform signature from the interlobar uh, artery, and uh, with the uh, resistive index of 0 0.62 and pulsatile index of 2.93. Now this is the urinary bladder. Though he gives the history of dysuria only, nothing else. We see normal urinary bladder, and this is the prostate. This is seminal vesicle. These are again the seminal vesicles. Post maturation, I saw it is with a normal. So there is no other finding uh, relating to this uh, study except the mass relating to this is the supreme shows normal size on uh, oh yes there is one other pathology and that is there are calculi within the gallbladder here we see the masala kesaroko here we are. This is the wall of the gallbladder, human of the gallbladder. These are the tiny calculi, giving posterior shadow. And this is the liver. So the cholelithiasis is seen. And uh, the main pathology, once again, that uh, relates to the upper and uh, mid region of the right kidney is a solid mass, heterogeneous appearance, cystic and solid with interspread cystic areas, multiple cystic areas, and uh, expanding the uh, capsule of the kidney, moving with the kidney, gliding over the quadrant number of muscle. This is, uh, and showing vascularity, this is a case of renal cell carcinoma, until unless proven otherwise. Thank you very much.